Hi, me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. This is about joining curves and setting the radius tolerance. So if we go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and if we take, these are all objects, I'm gonna take this one and this one and select them, and I'm gonna, I've, I've got my gap tolerance set on 10, which is plenty, but I'm gonna give it a two inch radius. Now I'm gonna set my radius on four. And I'm gonna select that one, hold down the shift key and select that one. Watch what happens, it's gonna shorten the lines to make a four inch radius. Let's go to six. You need to do it before you select. Select, shift, select both. Look at that. Let's go to 10. Select them both, go to 10. It, it doesn't really just close the curve, it's gonna round it off so you could really make shapes like that. Let's go back and let's try this. Let's try, well, let's see how big this is, 22 inches. So let's, uh, let's try something. Let's set our gap tolerance on 20. We're gonna make a circle, but if we only select this one and this one and go 20, ah, look at the shape we get. Now, if we do the same thing here, hold down the shift, 20, and then let's close this off. Well, I didn't select the other one. Probably can't do it like that because we got these extra nodes. It's gonna, it's gonna, that's pretty cool. Making a, no matter what the tolerance is, I would take away these nodes and you almost have a leaf effect or a, a shape of a leaf um, or that object. I always, just to let you know how I would draw that same thing a lot quicker, just take your, take a circle and then fill that in with a smart fill tool and you get that same but anyway, you can close gaps and tolerances uh, between your nodes. You know, if you've got, uh, you know, if you got a, two straight lines, you can't really do it. Let's try it on two lines that are uh, going opposite directions. Or let's try this. Hold down the shift. I think it's just going to connect them. Well, we're above, we're beyond ten inches. Let's just measure it. Take the parallel dimension tool. See, we're at 19 inches. So let's make our gap tolerance 20. And the gap tolerance is so you won't mess something up that you don't want to mess up. No, it's just going to connect it no matter what the radius because they're two straight lines and they're not going at an angle. Now, if we would have put this line at a 90 degree angle, from that other line and put it over here and we hold down the take the shape tool select both of them and now we're going to get that 20 degree well maybe it won't maybe it's too far yeah there we go it's it's just because we've gotten off the page so big it's really big but anyway you can set the and you could also kind of watch it um, by taking this radius and just click on there and just kind of, you don't have to stay on there, I'm just moving it up and it'll give us a bigger radius. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit and thank you for watching.